Welcome, good evening. Um, is it evening? Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the press conference uh, of the November Eurogroup. Um, we had a number of different topics. I will just take you through the main issues. We spent quite some time on the uh, banking uh, sector in Europe, and particularly the banking union. We welcomed Danielle Nui, who is the chair of uh, the ECB supervisory board, as you know, and we welcomed uh, Elke Koenig, who is the chair of the single resolution board. They both gave us a update on their work and recent developments in the uh, banking union, uh, key challenges and priorities for both institutions in the coming months. Um, good to hear also from them that the sector across the board is in a better shape than years ago. Of course, uh, there are legacy issues in a number of sectors and institutions which uh, have to be addressed, which are being addressed, but um, should not undermine the confidence in the system as a whole as it improves uh, the quality of its standards. We've built a solid banking union framework. Uh, we have our rules and we'll use them as agreed uh, and, when, and where necessary. And of course, clear communication uh, on the work going forward is essential. Uh, overall, we commended both institutions with the excellent work that they have been doing uh, so far uh, and the efficient functioning of the banking uh, union and we'll look forward to talking to them in the Eurogroup again at the beginning of the spring next year. Uh, secondly, we um, got a debrief from the post-program surveillance in Cyprus and Spain. Regarding Cyprus, we welcome the positive reports on strong economic recovery, 25 to 3% economic growth, um, good work done by the Cypriot authorities, including in the uh, financial sector. Uh, we also took note uh, of the still very high stock of NPLs and possible risk to the fiscal outlook. And we trust that the uh, Cypriot authorities will remain their vigorous efforts to tackle these issues and to keep up the structural reform uh, effort. Under this item, the Eurogroup was also informed by the Cypriot minister about the state of play regarding the possible reunification of Cyprus with particular attention to economic and financial issues, uh, some of which are, of course, also relevant for us, uh, members of the Euro area. We learned about the positive economic effects this process may have, uh, but also realize that adequate and effective preparation in view of the ground that remains to be covered uh, is very important. A lot of work uh, ahead of us if and when that uh, process uh, becomes um, uh, successful in the coming months. And we will come back to that topic uh, in a timely uh, manner. On Spain, we were briefly informed by the institutions on the outcome of the review mission to Spain, uh, which was limited in scope. Uh, of course, we were pleased to learn that Spain has again now a, uh, uh, a government, a new and effective uh, government. We congratulated Luis de Guindos on his new term. Um, the debrief from the institutions showed uh, ongoing strong economic recovery in Spain, stabilization of the financial sector, we had some discussion whether the ongoing economic recovery was due to the fact that Spain did not have a government or whether it uh, now once again has a government. Nonetheless, it was good news, and we congratulated uh, Luis de Guindos with that. Uh, of course, some challenges still remain, not uh, the least with regard to the consolidation of public finances, but we will come back to that later. Um, we also returned to the subject of national insolvency frameworks. Um, we had a, a discussion about that a couple of times in the Eurogroup. Uh, we got more information from the Commission on where countries stand, on what uh, good experiences there are, what the key factors are. Uh, progress on this front, the front of national insolvency frameworks, is crucial for the economic recovery and financial integration within the Euro area. We also heard from um, Danielle Nui 
from the banking supervision on this topic. They, of course, have a lot of insight on uh, the practices, um, uh, the practice of legal frameworks related to NPLs. We will return to the topic uh, in the first half of next year as soon as we have findings from ongoing commission initiatives to improve the data availability in this area and the commission will uh, on the already in the short term I believe come forward with a legislative proposal on this topic so we can make more progress on this important topic for the Eurozone. Then Greece, we briefly took stock of the uh, current situation. The second review is ongoing as you know uh, cooperation between the institutions and the Greek authority is reported to be fruitful, progress being made. Um, obviously, it's in everyone's interest to finalize the second review as soon as possible. The next meeting of the Eurogroup we will uh, spend more time on. Greece, this will be on the 5th of December, when we will know more about the work the ESM is doing on uh, possible debt relief measures for the short term. We will uh, hear more from the ongoing second review to get uh, more sense of some of the important uh, reforms that are part of that, labor market reform, social system reform, um, uh, the uh, fiscal trajectory for the coming uh, years, particularly the next year's budget and 18 uh, budget. So all of those work strands will come together at the beginning of uh, December and we will spend some time on that. Of course, with the view on uh, the IMF going to the board before the end of the year, which was reconfirmed uh, by Paul Thompson today in the meeting that that is still their strong intention. We were also debriefed on the state of play on technical assistance to Greece, but I will leave that up to Pierre if he wishes to say more about that. It was a positive uh, report and we are very grateful to the Commission and the staff of the Commission, all the work done in collaboration with Member States. Uh, finally, um, Commissioner Moscovici debriefed us on the ongoing process with the DBPs, the draft budgetary plans. Uh, the Commission's opinion will come out on the 16th, I believe, and then we will have that uh, also on our agenda on the 5th of December, we will make an early start in the morning, first spend time on the DBPs, then have a short break and in the afternoon continue in our regular meeting, a uh, number of topics, as uh, one of which will be Greece, as I mentioned.